Put your faith in the light. Hey, hello guys, welcome to another one of my videos. This is Lightblade. And well, in this one, I wanted to make an update on the voting situation for our tier set in season 4 of Dragonflight, and also convince you to vote for the season 3 tier set bonus for the good of the spec. The current standing of the votes are the following In North America, season 3 is winning by a small margin over season 2, and in Europe, season 3 wins by a pretty decent amount, putting season 3 tier set bonus on the lead, although by not too much. I've been in the forums, and there is wide misinformation about the season 2 tier set bonus, with some people claiming that it's the best that Retribution Paladin has gotten, which is a total lie. This is mostly because of the hard 5 target cap nature of the Season 2 tier set. This alone makes it unable to compete with Season 3 or even Season 1 tier set because the bonus just stops working on any number of targets after 5, which is something you really never want in your spec. I'll also be showing the dungeons that we can assume that will be in the pool for Season 4 of Dragonflight and show how unfavored the Season Season 2 tier set is for them. With that being said, let's start with the video. Let's talk about some historical context. A lot of you weren't here for the great capping of Se uh, Shadowlands Season 1, where most of the specs were hard capped to 5 or 8 targets, while some were left fully uncapped. You know, what could go wrong with that? Well, a lot of things. Uh, mostly that the meta revolved around those uncapped DPS specs, uh, mostly mages that just did more damage than anyone else could. Blizzard eventually recognized their error and made us use the current soft cap system of reduced after X, which while not perfect at least allows you to hit everything in a pack, although at reduced damage. Just for some context, this is the graph and how much damage you do after your fifth target. Knowing this, it's clear that it's better to do some damage to everything than no damage at all. And now, with that brief recap on how uh, hard caps are terrible, we can go back to the Season 2 tier set and see why it's so bad. It just brings us back to that era of hard cap to 5, making our tier set not have any effect on extra targets. Huge numbers that you can currently see in places like Everbloom, Wakers Manor, or Black or Cold won't be possible next season. Retribution Paladins are currently in a good place in Mythic Plus because we do huge AoE damage. Picking Season 2 tier set removes that from us just for a playstyle that is from a flawed design. This brings me to my next point, the dungeons themselves. Okay, while well, we don't know the exact dungeons that we're going to be doing in Season 4 of Dragonflight, the most likely thing is we're going to be playing the original 8 dungeons from Dragonflight. So I'm going to be doing a really fast recap on those dungeons, showing you guys the MDT and showing you how mob dense these dungeons are and if they are favored for Season 2 tier set or Season 3 tier set. Now let's go to the first one which is Ruby Life Pulse. A lot of people didn't like this dungeon in Season 1 because it was really hard to play but eventually after a few nerfs this, play, this place got like easier you know and people started doing like huge packs of mobs. For example here in the, in the first part you can just see that this place is heavily favored towards the season 3 tier set because you're going to be doing big big pulls the first pull is like a, an 8 pull mob sometimes you even pull some whelps into that and making it like more mob dense the second pull is another like 10 pack pull that you're going to be playing it's just a bunch of stuff that you're going to be pulling in together the first boss is also another case of like you needing uncapped aoe because you have she summons a bunch of whelplings you have to just destroy them or your tank has a huge like debuff that it has to deal with so yeah you need a lot of uncapped aoe for ruby life pools i'm just gonna leave this one to the season 3 tier set just a much better for this place now let's go to the next dungeon Okay, the next dungeon is the Knockout Offensive, and this one is pretty fast, you know, it, it's just a Season 3 tier set bonus angle, you know, this place just has so many uncapped AoE pulls that you're going to be doing, especially in this part of the Ghost, you're going to be doing double, triple pulls, just to blast them all. Uh, the first part, you are also at this, as soon as you land in the first part of the dungeon, you're going to be doing like a 9 pack, and then after that, you're going to be doing doubles here with 4 and 4 and 8 packs in total. So yeah, this place is just going to be Season 3 phase. Favored. Now, let's go to the next dungeon. Okay, so the Azure Bolts. This one was not one of those dungeons that Blizzard also had to nerf a lot because it was really tough to do at the start. And even towards the end of that season, it, yeah, this place was still kind of hard. But people found ways to do huge pulls. For example, as soon as you get into the, the dungeon, you're going to start doing a 9 pull, which makes it pretty favored for the season 3 tiers, you know. And after that, you can see that you're going to be keep doing huge pull after huge pull and just keep doing that until you finish the dungeon especially on the parts where you play let's say the packs with the little 
wealth thingies when they call for help you're going to do those packs together with others just to save some time uh, some people are do the rings some people that skip the rings if you skip the rings you're also going to be playing with a bunch of uncapped aoe because you're going to need the count for example of these frogs where you can just do whole room pulls and just aoe them down you know so yeah azure balls is going to be just another one that's favored for season three tier set bonus let's go to the next one and this is Algathar Academy. So yeah, this one is really easy as well. Similar to Naku, this place just has a bunch of mob density. You're going to be playing like huge pulls most of the time up in this place. The first pull of this dungeon is basically this thing that I have highlighted here. Yes, this is the first pull of the dungeon before you do this boss. You're going to do the whole room plus three of these little fly thingies. So yeah, having our uncapped tier set here is just going to make that pull a lot easier after that if you go to the platform area you also see pulls that are pretty huge you know like this one you, you just do the whole platform because there's the only things you have to take care of here are some like two or three kicks and not be in the in the frontal of the big snake you know same here there's another big snake and there's literally just worms and those worms don't do much you know they just do random damage into the group and you just have to aoe them down so this place like i said pretty easy it's just a season three tier set favor dungeon okay so next up we got house of infusion and this place is surprisingly a season two favor dungeon mostly because most pulls in this place are not really big and also we have the case of the first boss which is really good with the season two uh, tier set because of the he starts at like 15 percent health or something like that so he's already at execute range so you're throwing a bunch of hammers to him and just generating a ton of holy power making it pretty simple fight for us in single target and well like i said uh, this place doesn't have like huge pulls that you can be doing uh, there is some instances where you will have more than five targets like in the end of this like gauntlet some there's these waters that keep spawning and you're going to have like instances of like six or seven targets but for the most part you're playing pack to pack in this place so this one is season two favored Next up, we have Bracken the Hide Hollow, and do I even have to say it? This place is a season three favorite dungeon. This one is one of the most like mob heavy dungeons in the whole expansion. You're going to be doing double, triple, quadruple pulls here. There's even mobs that spawn more mobs, like for example, the big trees, the, the oaks, uh, the, these guys, you know. These guys spawn like a bunch of extra lashers. You're just going to be doing the uncapped AOE the whole way through the plague area. And after that, you're still going to be doing like huge balls. For example, this uh, gutshot boss, you always do it with a bunch of trash on top of him. So yeah, you're doing on top of uncapped D uh, DPS here. Even on bosses, you're going to be doing uh, trash damage on them. So yeah, this place is just heavily favored for season three tier set bonus. Now let's go to the next one. Next up, we have Uldaman Legacy of Tear. This place is a really densely packed dungeon. It has a bunch of mobs. You're going to be doing a lot of double, triple pulls, like whole room pulls. At the start, you can already see that you're doing just a, like uh, off the rip an 11 pack of mobs. After you go at, through Emberon, you're still going to be doing a lot of big pulls, especially in the part where the dwarves, you can do doubles and triples, like I said before. Uh, yeah, this place is just packed with mobs and uh, having tier set bonus from season three is going to be incredible so this place is season 3 favorite dungeon okay so next up we have Neltharis this is the last dungeon and well at first glance you you might think oh man this place has huge uncapped AOE pools we're going to be using season 3 tier set and that's kind of a misconception in this place because well uh, everything you're going to be playing from the middle to the left is going to be done with the chains so you're just going to gather all those mobs up and just blow them up with chains uh, on the right side you are going to be playing some packs but it's it they are very few you know there's not a lot of stuff that your class is going to be doing you're going to be using those chains for most of the damage in this key so i'm going to give this one to season two and altharis will be a, a season two favorite dungeon as you can see from that fast recap of the dungeons that will most likely be in the season 4 dungeon pool, the season 3 tier set wins in 6 out of 8 of them, making it just 
better in most situations than the season 2 set. I hope I could convince you to vote for the season 3 set and if you're a PvPer I know this might not be perfect but PvP Retribution Paladin currently is not bad because of the tier set, it's bad because of how over nerf we got after the rework for that specific niche. On top of that PvP is currently in a terrible state in general having the lowest participation it has ever had but that's another can of worms to open. And well, that's going to be all for today. If you enjoy my content, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone.